Hi everyone. It's exciting times for us here at Barrable Hills. There's lots of fresh opportunities. There's people who are growing in their faith and stepping out into who God's called them to be. And we've got a building that's literally taking shape around us here. In fact, you might even hear the workmen in the background as I speak. In 2007, the leadership led the church through a process that really sought God to crystallize our sense of our mission, the reason that we exist, and our vision, that picture of a preferred future that we believe God's taking us to. The time has come for us to come together as a church and make a strong, united statement about our valuing of that vision. Throughout the month of September, we're going to be receiving a vision offering. What we're asking you to do is, if you see Barrable Hills to be your spiritual home, to really prayerfully consider what you can do to financially give towards the vision and future of this church. We're setting a faith goal of $50,000. This is a lot of money, particularly because this is the first time for quite some time where we have done something like this. To be honest, I think the value of this is far more in what this actually says about who we are than the money we receive. It's a great opportunity for us to unite behind the vision that we believe God has given us. In particular, there are three projects that we believe are crucial and that need to be resourced if we're to move towards God's best for us. The first of that is an increased presence in local schools and communities. We've got people like Pastor Mark, uh, Bev Brown and John Pelkin who have got incredible favour in the community through the relationships that they have built. In essence, they're out there holding open doors of opportunity. It's really important that we resource and mobilize the church to walk through these doors for the sake of the kingdom and for the sake of the city. The second area is in the area of global ministry. Again, it's people like Pastor John and Ann Leach, Chris Piper and Alan Toole, who have just done an amazing job of building uh, credibility, of building integrity and actually developing relationships where we actually have an incredible opportunity to take a stake in what God is doing not only in this city but right around the world. As you sit there, Pastor John, Steve Wanyoni and myself, we're actually in Nairobi looking at how we can strengthen and support the relationship we have with this amazing church, Christ Restoration Centre, in the middle of Kalangwari. This is something, and particularly the area of global missions, that we can't let one or two or three people carry the burden if we are genuinely going to outwork the vision we believe that God's called us to be as a church. We've got to unite behind this and find ways of resourcing and supporting these opportunities. The third area is that we must become increasingly structured for effectiveness. We are like a church, we're like a, this church is like a car that has a huge engine. But it's really important that engine, that potential we have in God, gets to the back wheels. And that linkage really speaks of our, uh, our communication processes, our systems for finance and admin. And we must invest into these now, otherwise we're going to waste time and energy of people and lose opportunities because we're spinning our wheels. This is really crucial for us as we step into this next day. In 2 Corinthians 9, the Apostle Paul encourages believers to give cheerfully, joyfully, but free from any sense of manipulation or obligation. I really believe that when people give in line with this spirit, that God's going to pour out His blessing into their lives and into their families. I'm convinced that Scripture encourages us to think like this. In the coming days, you're going to receive a flyer and an envelope. In that flyer, to explain more fully the heart behind this vision offering, as well as letting you know how you can be a part of what we're going to do through the month of September. I really encourage you to join with us as we do something great and sow into our future in God. God bless you.